Hello, I'm gonna read the Magic School Bus at the first Thanksgiving. It's fun to be in Miss Frizzle's class. Funny things always happen. What will happen today? We can't guess. Yes, we can, just look at her dress. What's on her dress? There's a turkey and a pumpkin, squash, oh. Yeah, it's Happy Thanksgiving, isn't it? Today we are making a dinner. It will be just like the first Thanksgiving. That was when the native people and the pilgrims had a big feast. There was a lot of food at the first Thanksgiving. There was a lot of food at our Thanksgiving. Who were the native people? They were a tribe that lived in America for thousands of years. The tribe was called Wampanoag. Who were the pilgrims? They were people who lived in England 400 years ago. Then only one kind of church was allowed. The pilgrims wanted to worship God in their own way, so they left England and came to America. Miss Frizzle writes a list of food. Miss Frizzle, you forgot pumpkin pie, Ralphie says. There has to be pumpkin pie. We always have it on Thanksgiving. Dorothy Ann reads her book. They didn't have pumpkin pie at the first Thanksgiving. Is it true, Miss Frizzle, we ask? Let's find out. To the bus. To the pie. We hop on the bus. Then something happens. The bus goes up in the air and we go back in time. Now it's almost 400 years ago. I knew something would happen. We fly over the ocean. We see the sailing ship. The ship is the Mayflower. It is carrying the pilgrims. The Mayflower is going to America. Why didn't we stay in America? The pilgrims are sailing. We will sail too, says the Frizz. The bus turns into a bus Mayflower. I can't go, Miss Frizzle. I'll get seasick. Too late, Arnold. We're all going. The trip is long and hard. What was it like on the Mayflower? It was crowded. The waves tossed the boat around. The food got rotten and full of worms. It was not fun. At last, we get to America. The native people see the pilgrims, but they stay in the woods. Is it winter already? The pilgrims build a big house. We have a big house, or bus house, sorry. It's getting cold. Can we turn up the heat? No, but we can get more wood for the fire. All winter, the pilgrims are cold. There is not much to eat. Lots of pilgrims get sick. Many of them die. Winter can be hard. Let's keep this fire going. At last, it is spring. A native man comes to see the pilgrims. His name is Squanto. Welcome. You can speak English? Where did you learn? Squanto's story. When he was a young man, Squanto was kidnapped by English soldiers. Then he lived in England, where he learned to speak English. Later, he found a way to come back to his home in America. The pilgrims work hard. Squanto shows them how to plant corn. He shows them how to hunt. We all help the pilgrims too. Squanto knows a lot about living in America. Put a fish in the hole, then put in the, put in the seed. Fish makes the corn grow better, but it doesn't make it smell better. This winter, we will have enough food. Not like last winter. When fall comes, there are seven new houses and there is a lot of food. The pilgrims save food for the winter. We're thankful for that. The pilgrims plan a celebration. They cook food, they set up tables, everyone works, even the children. This is hard work. And I thought cleaning my room was hard. <laughs> We get a surprise. A native chief comes. He brings many people. Will there be enough to eat? Five native people, or sorry, five native men go to hunt. They bring back five deer. Now there is food for everyone. Do you see any pumpkin pie? No, keep looking. <laughs> Did you know there were more native people than pilgrims at the first Thanksgiving? Wow. For three whole days, everyone eats delicious meals. They play games too. This is fun. Let's not go home after all. I'm too full to go anywhere. <laughs> we 
We see pumpkin stew, but we do not see pumpkin pie. D.A. was right. There was no pie at the first Thanksgiving. I don't have room for pie anyways. Why no pie? To make pumpkin pie, you need flour, fat, and sugar. You also need to bake it in the oven. The pilgrims had pumpkins, but they didn't have much flour and sugar. They didn't have ovens either. So they had boiled pumpkin, not pie. Miss Frizzle says it is time to go. We say goodbye to our new friends. Back to school class. The bus is itself again. Hmm. The next day, we make our own first Thanksgiving. There is no pumpkin pie, but we are all still thankful. We have lots to be thankful for. Yeah, I'm thankful we're back. Where will we go next? I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> Look at her dress. It's a Statue of Liberty, isn't it? The end. Thank you.